controller works. I have uh, a computer here which has no control software on it, except uh, it's connected to a joystick, and it reads in the joystick events, which as you can see, if I press different buttons, we have things scroll by. Uh, these are sent over UDP to the control server down here, and we can verify that the communication is working by looking at uh, the joystick uh, event buffer. The joystick can be local, or it can be on a remote machine, uh, which is convenient when uh, doing debugging. So this is the CBI robot, now at full uh, hydraulic uh, pressure, 3000 PSI, and I can control the robot. Uh, start with the, the left leg, the left arm rather, by adjusting the sticks on the, uh, the controller here, I can control several degrees of freedom at the same time. Uh, I can shift between, uh, because the, the joystick only has uh, four degrees of freedom in total, I have to uh, change the particular limb that I'm controlling with the joysticks uh, by pressing one of these two buttons to move forward. Now I'm controlling the small joints of the left arm. Now I can control the right arm, or go back to the left arm, or I can control the left leg, and the sensitivity of the joysticks can also be adjusted online using some of the sensitivity adjustments. Furthermore, this particular posture that I have moved the robot into, now I'm moving into the torso. This particular posture is saved on the computer so that I can transition to another posture just by changing the recorded posture slot. So we can see that I can make it do other postures that I've recorded previously and adjust also the speed of the transition between the postures to create keyframe animation similar to how character animation works in uh, movies. So we can make an animation of the robot running and uh, jumping or, or doing whatever we want and easily create a tra trajectory that can be modified for later use. Okay, uh, this is essentially the same program uh, now ported to C++ uh, for use with the exoskeleton. Here you can see the uh, controls of the joystick right here which are being, as I push buttons, you'll see different changes in state. And this, these particular states are the, con uh, the PID control values of desired and actual positions for each of the joints of the exoskeleton. We also have the sensors of the EMG, uh, the foot sensors, and some information about the, uh, the timing threads that I, uh, that I added. If we enable the robot over here, we can perform the exact same operations and uh, save slots of postures and interpolation between the postures that we performed with the CBI robot. I will now enable the robot so the PID control is working and we should be able to move one of the joints of the robot, for example, the left ankle or the right ankle or the knee or hip and 